Welcome back everyone, Mate Talk. Um, for those who might be new to this, um, uh, this conversation, uh, it's all about, well, it's all about you. You are the bosses of this Mate Talk. Uh, it's uh, grab yourself a drink, in my case, it's a Mate. And uh, do, you, do you like it? I actually made this myself. This is when I was doing pottery. My children make fun of me, because anyway. Um, so yeah, Mata Talk is all about you, uh, let me know what's on your mind, things that we want to talk about, and uh, I will deal with things straight away. I get a lot of comments, and I've mentioned this before, from a lot of subscribers saying, have you tested this, have you smelled that? So this is what Mate talks about, actioning these things and being able to you know, uh, deal with them quickly and then report back, you guys are the bosses. I am your humble servant. <laughs> sure. Um, okay. So to start off with, I, I don't know if you know, I am actually on TikTok. I, my, nef, uh, my niece, not my nephew, my niece said to me recently, uncle, it's really cool that you're on TikTok because there's not many old people on there. So anyway, so I'm glad that I've got, thank you, Isabella, it made me feel so good about myself. Um, no, no, no it, it, it's cool actually, it's cool to be on TikTok. Um, and I've had uh, this uh, young man who has uh, asked me the question regarding Creed. So I'm gonna, this is probably the last question on Creed. We're gonna move on from here, put something else that you want me to explore or discuss with everyone. So the question was, what do I think about the batch variations when it comes to the creeds? And, I, and my response is, it's gonna be twofold. One is, and actually before I commence, let me just point out that, and Quasim, this wonderful subscriber here, mentioned that in typical um, internet forum tomfoolery, I am now gonna become an expert. And so my expert advice is about to come forward. Uh, and number one is that probably, yeah, the companies could be mucking around. So Creed are going, you know what, we need to make more money, more profits, so let's cut costs. And the best way to do that is to buy cheaper products. So where before we were spending, I don't know, whatever it is, you know, on some unique oils from uh, Madagascar or wherever it was, now we're just gonna get them, you know, from some cheap source or even synthetic. So that's that's a reality, that's a possibility. The, I'm gonna say that this is a no. I don't, I'm gonna be surprised if that's really the direction they're going because it really is a short game approach, meaning that, and you know this to be true, that the moment that a quality of a product goes down, the consumer becomes savvy to this, and and, and so yeah, they'll they'll just they'll leave, unfortunately. Um, so I'm gonna say no, all right. But again, in typical uh, forum tomfoolery, um, I, being an expert, saying that that's probably not the case. What I think might really be the case is the variations in um, natural products. We understand that creeds use a high level of oils in their fragrances, and so Mother Nature can what is wonderfully inconsistent. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, a particular oil may be very robust in its in its scent, and other, other years, because there's been less rainfall or too much rainfall, uh, the scent isn't quite there. Uh, two experiences that I have in this area, one very early on, I think I was a 20 year old, 20 year old man, and um, young man, strapping strong. And um, I used to work for a fruit juice company. Now it was it, they pride that this company was family owned and they prided themselves on only using Aussie product. Now, there were some years where the yield or the crops that they would actually buy from, um, the, the, the orange juice that was their biggest seller wasn't, it was too acidic or wasn't sweet enough and things like that. And they would say to us, look, we're just gonna give everybody a heads up. The, the, the taste is a little bit different to what it normally is and that's because of too much rain or not enough rain or whatever the reasons were. Um, but we're making the decision not to buy cheap imports. And so that means that we have to utilize this particular crop. So if you get the questions asked, this is the reasons why. Um, I know from a personal level, uh, for those who might know, I am a beekeeper. I'm, I'm wrapping my, my bee suit today. Um, I'm a beekeeper, I have my own hive. Here's a link, check out when I opened my hive alongside Kevin from Oligarch. Um, and I know that my hive or my bees, at the start of the season, so early spring, the honey that they produce is very light in color. It's very floral. It has a very light bouquet to it. Um, whereas if I were to take, or when I take my honey out at the end of summer, coming into autumn now, or fall, um, the honey is a lot darker and deeper in color and much more, and it's very robust. It has a very strong, you know, robust flavor to it. So. 
I'm going to say that the possible variations in batches could be just that the, the extraction of oils is, uh, it varies, it varies year on year. Now the last part, and I know I said two, but I'm going to throw in a third one, and that is um, sometimes it could be like a placebo or inception. If I say to you, I think that there might be a variation in batches, your brain's going to go, I think there might be variations in batches. And you, when you start smelling, you know, you're like, yeah, I think this one here is more smoky and less pineapple and whatever. So actually on that, so Aventus is always the one that gets uh, thrown into this mix. Um, I have Aventus, which I bought years ago. My son bought an Aventus not long ago, and my nephew bought an Aventus recently. Now we actually smelled these, we tested these, and we could not tell the difference. So they all smelled like Aventus. And you know, possibly we were going, I think this one here is a little bit more pineapple. And, but to our noses, you know, and, and we purposely sort of not mark the cards to see if we were consistent with what we were. To us, it smelled like Aventus. So uh, anyway, but, but, maybe, but maybe not. Maybe they are messing around with the, the formulations and stuff like that and causing havoc. So that's, uh, that's on that. Um, the next thing that I'd love to bring up is for those people who um, might be aware, we're doing an evening at Oligarch. Now I do want to promote this. This is an awesome event that Oligarch, are, um, uh, well, Oligarch and I are putting on together. Uh, we are going to be uh, smelling and experiencing 10 different fragrances from these three houses. Now, if, you, if you're an Aussie and you would like to participate, just know that you've got about a week and a half um, to actually buy a seat only because we want to make sure that we get these uh, discovery sets out to people and that they arrive on time. Now, if you are going to be part of it, know that the $50 that you will pay to buy a seat, you're going to get that back as a rebate. Um, so you can, if you buy anything on the night, you can use that, um, that $50 to, uh, as a discount. Um, plus, each of these houses, each of these three brands, have actually given us a bottle for free. So if you were to buy two bottles on the night, you'll go into the draw. Kevin and I, we've decided we're going to do a live uh, Instagram uh, event thing on the next day, and we'll pull out the name out of a hat so you can all participate and see who won what bottle, you know, so it's, it's actually pretty cool. Um, one question that I've had a lot of people ask me, internationals from the US and through, uh, through Europe, is can they also be part of this event? Now, my wife, the wisest woman on earth, uh, she suggested, because I'm like, oh no, it's too complicating, it's too hard to do, uh, and she actually said, why not? What, what's the big deal? And I thought, you're right, what is the big deal? I, I guess the big deal was that I wanted everyone to be smelling the fragrances alongside us, um, but if you would like to be there, if you're in the US or anywhere outside of Australia, if you would like to be there, then just let me know. So here's my email address, email me directly. If, or uh, if you're not connected to us on Instagram, here's our handle, connect via Instagram, uh, DM me, and I will make sure, with your email address, and I'll make sure to send you that Zoom link. Give me one sec. My mouth is getting dry. Um, I will also send everybody, so this is what we did for the Zaharoff, uh, Evening with Zaharoff, so it's a very similar thing. And it basically shows all the fragrances, the notes, um, and we're gonna be doing a similar, uh, this was created by us, we're gonna be doing a similar chart for everybody so that you know where these fragrances lie. Now, good news is the, the 10 fragrances that we'll be talking about is across the whole fragrance family. So if you like florals, or if you like your uh, woody ambers or whatever it may be, um, you, they will, we, we've actually, Kevin and I have worked quite hard to make sure that this is a nicely, um, well, there's something for everybody, basically, that everyone can enjoy this particular evening. So if you are international, you'd like to participate, email me, DM me at Instagram, I will send you a link, plus I'll send you this as a, um, as a PNG or a, or a JPEG, um, and that way you can join us on this particular event. All right, last one is, um, I've had a lot of people reach out to me for, to test out a particular fragrance called Ganymede. Gain, gain, Ganymede, oh my gosh, I think I mispronounced that, Ganymede. Anyway, here's the video to prove that I was there today. Now I went to a store here in Melbourne called Peony. If um, Aussies, if you're local here, I'd recommend you go check it out. Actually, that, the store is awesome. Uh, Jill is wonderful, very, very knowledgeable, and she is the exclusive stockist to this particular fragrance here in Australia. Now, 
I've had, so I had Manjula recently uh, ask me about this and I had another gentleman by the name of Porus who also asked me to test this. And I, as I was going through, I realized that I had another, and I'll put the link here, or the, um, the, 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 the thing, <laughs> the image, oh my gosh. Um, a gentleman talking about this eight months ago. He actually recommended, but this is, I wasn't doing Mate Talk back then and this is, and this is why I'm actually doing Mate Talk because people were con are constantly saying, smell this, test this. Um, there's so many great fragrances out there that I, yeah, anyway. Um, so this fragrance here, when I first sprayed it, I wasn't impressed. I'm, boom, I'm like, mm-hmm, it's nice. Admittedly, the, the store is beautifully fragrant. Um, there's a lot of perfumes happening in there. So I think it may have been a little bit overwhelmed by everything that was happening around me. And I think I recognized that because I wasn't able to do really to distinguish any particular notes that were popping in that opening. And normally the openings are always magnificent. Sprayed again and I thought, I'm gonna wait. And I went out of the store and went to do, I had meetings today. And as I'm driving around, I'm like, ah, there you are. Now this fragrance, so the spoiler suspense is phenomenal. Now I did jump on for Grantica to have a quick look to see what the notes were. Um, on, on set, I'm like, man, this is a leather fragrance and I'm getting these leathery sort of notes coming through. Then as the day was progressing, I'm like, no, no, hang on a second. This is kind of floral. This is kind of, there's a kind of a herby component to it. Uh, not herby, but aromatic. Anyway, the bottom line is this fragrance is spectacular. I want to thank everyone who's actually marked this off as a fragrance to, to check out. Uh, some of the comments that I read on Fragrantica are mixed and they're saying, oh no, very synthetic like, and I'm not picking that up at all. I'm thinking this smells pretty legit to me. Um, I was getting early on, as I mentioned, that sort of light leathery suede. And when I saw the notes, uh, it, does, it does have saffron. I know that saffron can create that slight leathery. Now it also links back in the, the person who reached out to me eight months ago. Uh, it was one, one of my memo leather um, reviews that I had done. And the truth is, as I was smelling it, I'm like, man, this could almost be a memo inclusion. It had a memo vibe to it because I love the way uh, Memo creates, uh, if you like leathers, they have a, a leather range, Cure Nomad, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and they're just beautiful. I just love it. I've got about four or five of them and I just love those, those range. But anyway, uh, Ganymede, awesome, awesome fragrance. I know it has also like uh, Immortal and uh, Osmanthus. I mean, Osmanthus in a fragrance is just pure magic. Anyway, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Awesome, awesome recommendation. One that I definitely need to explore a lot. Uh, a lot deeper, a lot further. And Jill, when I was pick, asking Jill about it from Peony, she was also like, you know, the perfumer is just like next level and uh, yeah, he's a rock star. Boom, that's it. Thanks so much. I appreciate you guys, um, your comments. I really do appreciate uh, the feedback that I get from these Mate Talks. Um, and uh, yeah, if you, again, I, I go back to this, I saw this week and a half. So guys, local people, uh, jump on in. There are some good prizes to be won. It's going to be a lot of fun. I, I, one, I'd love to see you all there. Uh, and two, international friends, uh, if you want to be a part of it, just let me know. I would love you to be a part of that. I realize that in some time zones, it's going to yeah, it's throw you off a little bit, like, you know, three in the morning or something like that. Uh, but hey, live a little. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you on the next month or talk.